Last night, the Mets and Los Angeles Angels struck a deal that would send switch hitting third baseman and utility man Eduardo Escobar to the Angels in exchange for two minor league pitchers, both in the Angels' top 20 prospects, Coleman Crow and Landon Marceau. Before we grade this trade, who won this trade, and dive into the prospects, quickly, if you could like this video and subscribe, as well as let me know who you think won this trade in the comment section below, that would be greatly appreciated. Alright, for the Mets, the Eduardo Escobar experiment has officially come to an end after less than the two years and $20 million deal he signed before the pandemic. Last year was much better for Escobar, and due to a slow start this year, the Mets decided to call up their top third base prospect, Brett Beatty, who quickly took the starting job from Escobar. This season, Escobar in his age 34 season has hit 236 with a 286 on base percentage and a 695 OPS. With four home runs and 16 RBIs, Escobar really hasn't cut it for the Mets. However, his production has picked up lately, but has merely been just a bench bat for the Mets, collecting spot starts here and there. The Mets decided it was best to move on with the clubhouse favorite as well as fan favorite while eating all the prorated minimum salary which the Angels will pay. The Mets in return get two top 20 prospects from the Halos, first of which is Coleman Crow, who currently resides on the IL due to elbow inflammation and has posted a 1.88 ERA in 24 innings with 31 strikeouts to only 6 walks and a .625 whip. Earlier this year he carried a no-hit bid through 6 innings. The latter half, Landon Marceau has struggled in AA, posting a 4.88 ERA in 59 innings. He's a 1.542 whip with 45 strikeouts in those innings, and Landon now becomes the 18th ranked prospect in the Mets system. He's a soft throwing righty with a pitch to contact approach, which has been hurt by the walks and hosts grades of a 50 fastball, 50 curve, 50 slider, 55 change, 55 control with an overall prospect grade of 40. Crow, however, on the other hand, jumps number 11 on the Mets prospect list and sits low 90s as well with lots of sync. His prospect grades are 50 fastball, 45 curve, 55 slider, 50 changeup, 50 control to give him an overall grade of 45. For the Angels, Escobar fills a sudden hole in their infield with Urshela, who just recently suffered a fractured pelvis, and Radone with their left wrist contusion. Escobar should get a chance to play every day in LA and try and lead the Angels to the playoffs in promised land. The Angels won't be paying Escobar this much this season and have a club option if Escobar just goes off and the Angels decide that they will exercise it and keep him around for another year. The cost for the Angels was two top 20 prospects for which a team that struggles to find any sort of contributions on the pitching staff. The Mets add to their weak farm system by getting two prospects who are also in their top 20 now one being number 11, with a shot to grow and an impact the majors in a couple years. So who wins this trade? In my opinion, the Mets get the better half of this deal. Their grade will be an A. Getting two prospects for a bench bat who wasn't going to play every day is big time for an organization which lacks pitching depth in the minor leagues. The Angels get a B in this trade also. They save money and get a great clubhouse presence with veteran leadership to lead this team hopefully to the promised land so we can see Trout and Shohei in the playoffs as well. As a Mets fan, it is sad to see Escobar get traded as he was a fan and clubhouse favorite. Despite some of his struggles, he always had total class through tough times and acted professional when it mattered most, came up with clutch hits as well. I wish him luck with the Angels and hopefully the month of Escobar lasts the rest of the year in Anaheim and doesn't hurt the Mets in October. If you enjoyed this video, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, come back. Next time for some more videos, this is going to be the place where you can get all the trade videos and reactions, grades. You won't want to miss it. Hit that subscribe button, come back later, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.